Hiri, hiri, my lords and ladies. It's me again, your crazy community manager, Hapuki, and this is our fair maiden, Lily. Today we're going to talk about how to farm champion experience in March of Empires. We're going to give you some real good tips and tricks. We'll even share a cheesing mechanic for those of you who have plenty of resources but no patience to farm that XP the way it was intended. Stay tuned until the end because the last tip is so dirty and spicy that I seriously doubt many of you know it. Also, if you enjoy our videos, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps us a lot and it gives me a reason to get out of bed every morning. Before we jump to the tips, a quick note for those of you who have just started playing this amazing game Oops. and, I, and have absolutely no idea what's happening. Leveling up your champion is one of the most important progressions in March of Empires. You can receive champion XP from various sources. The best one is from battles. Just don't forget that you only get champion XP when the champion is part of the army formation. Another great source of champion XP are the quests. Every time you achieve something in the game, you receive a quest reward. Those quests can be found here in the middle of the campaign menu. Never ever ever claim those rewards before you have activated all your champion XP boosts. Now you might ask, but why Hapuki? What do you mean why? Because you're losing champion XP. Check this out. We have trained 100 tier 5 swordsmen, so we have completed this quest. The base reward we can get is 1991 champion XP. Now watch this. I'm going to equip a helmet that gives me some champion XP bonus. So what happened to the quest reward? It's bigger now. Let's equip another item that gives us champion XP. So what happened to the quest reward? It's even bigger now. And maybe your girlfriend told you, oh honey, size doesn't matter. That's bullshit. Size matters, bigger is better. And why get less when you can get more? He's right, size matters. This trick we just showed you applies to all champion XP sources. This means you should also use it when you upgrade your buildings because each building upgrade will give you some champion XP. Each research you complete will give you some champion XP. Each quest you complete will give you some champion XP. And last but most important, every battle your champion fights in will give you some champion XP. Now let's discuss all the things you can do to boost your champion XP income. So, tip number one. Make sure you have equipped the best equipment items for the job. Don't be the idiot who wears sweatpants at the wedding or a suit at a sports practice. Just go to your champion inventory and use the search engine to find the best items that give you bonus champion XP. After you've equipped those items, we can move on to the next tip. Now pay attention, this is really important. In order to maximize your XP gain, you need to utilize all available permanent and time-limited bonuses. You have already prepared your equipment items, so that's one. Two is the bonus from your castle's arena district. You can see it right here if you click on the arena inside your castle. The size of this bonus depends on the level of the structures inside the arena district. Keep upgrading those buildings and the bonus will keep growing. The third bonus source is the uncommon military decoration. This is a district enhancement item for your arena. You can find it right here in the district enhancements menu when you click on the second arena enhancement. Make sure to equip this item before you start farming champion XP. The number 4 boost comes from Alchemy. It can be found in your item menu. Click on the utility section and keep using until you get the champion XP time limited boost. It's more than beneficial because it provides you with 25% bonus XP for the next 4 hours. Don't be a peasant, you need that boost. Number 5 is another time limited boost that can be found in the bonuses and effects menu. Click here to open this menu and scroll down until you see it. There are different types of champion XP boost items, so make sure to choose the best one before you start farming. 
And you might think these are all the boosts, but no. There is also a champion class that rewards you with champion XP if you invest points in it. This class is called Guardian and it gives you additional XP when you fight against world encounter camps. You should also know there is a gem that gives you bonus XP. I'm talking about the Aquamarine. Just like every gem, you can imbue your e equipment items with the Aquamarine to receive this bonus effect. The higher the level of the gem, the bigger bonus you will get. At maximum gem level 8, the Aquamarine will give you plus 16% bonus champion XP. Now, keep in mind that some equipment items have up to 3 gem slots. Do the calculation yourself and imagine what kind of bonus you will get if you imbue all your item slots with Aquamarine gems. I just want to share one last champion XP bonus source before we move on to the farming mechanics. This source is only available if you have faction units in your army formation. If you open your royal barracks and click on the promote unit section, there are a few promotions that will reward you with champion XP boost. You get the first one at faction units level 8, then faction units level 18, and the last one is at faction units level 25. Keep in mind, as I said, those boosts are only active if you have a faction unit squad in the army formation you are using. Now that we've covered the champion XP bonus sources, let's go through the best ways to farm that XP. First and most important, while you play March Vampires, you will be rewarded with champion XP items from various activities you do in the game. After you claim those items, you can find them by visiting your items menu in the utility section. You can also find them if you open your champion menu and you click on this little plus sign here at the end of your champion level bar. As I said, this is extremely important so pay attention. Those items and the amount of XP they give you are influenced by all the champion XP boosts that you have currently activated. Just like with the quest rewards that we showed you in the beginning. For example, when used, this XP item will give you 1 million champion XP. But if you currently have an active bonus of plus 100% champion XP, when you use this item, it will give you 2 million XP instead of 1 million. Simply put, Make sure to equip and activate all available XP boosts before you use your XP items, otherwise you're just wasting their full potential. The next XP farming tip is about your army units. Most experienced MOE players farm champions XP by defeating world encounter camps. This is the fastest way to level up your champion because there is no limit to the number of camps you can defeat every day. However, you cannot send multiple marches to attack those camps because your champion can join only one march at a time. This is why you need to hit those camps one by one. Another thing to consider is that every time you hit a camp, some of your army units will be wounded and sent to the temple for healing. If your tempo limit has been exceeded, your army units will die and that sucks, so don't do that. Now, here comes the tricky part. Depending on your guardian level, you can gain rewards and champion XP only from camps that are on your current level or two levels lower. You need to find the balance and hit the highest level camps that you can, but without giving too many casualties. Healing army units costs resources, and like I said before, resources are my precious. Now let's imagine that you have enough resources and all you care about is leveling up your champion as fast as possible. The first thing you can do is hit world encounter camps, but only with tier 1 units in your formation. As you know, or at least now you'll know, tier 1 units can be healed instantly, providing you have all the required resources. If you do have the resources, you can just keep hitting those camps with tier 1 units. Then heal them instantly and do it all over again. The amount of champion XP you're going to get is insane. As promised, the final tip we're going to give you today is very dirty. It is also very advanced 
and it would be useful only for players who have a lot of resources and they don't mind wasting them just to get more champion XP. I'm warning you again, doing this you're throwing your resources in the wind, but this is without a doubt the fastest way to level up your champion. Here goes, this tip is based on the knowledge that you gain champion XP not only when you win a battle, but also when you lose a battle. So let's say you're guarding level 10 and you can hit level 10 world encounter camps. Now let's find one of those level 10 camps. If you're thinking about doing this, you're probably very strong and very rich in the game. So first you need to make sure that you're not too strong and you will not accidentally kill the camp. I personally recommend resetting your Paragon skills and your champion talents. If you're still too strong, you can even unequip your district enhancement items. Of course, make sure you have equipped your champion XP gear set and you have activated all champion XP time limited boosts. When you're ready, you need to set up an army formation that is doomed to lose. For example, take only two squads of tier 1 mounted units. Set this formation to your fast attack button and then start smashing that button until you run out of resources. Make sure to heal your wounded units after every few attacks. As I said, this is crazy expensive, but this is also the fastest way to level up your champ. This concludes our champion XP farming video. My lords and ladies, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the many new videos we will be making for you very soon. Until we meet again, stay healthy and march on for greatness.